I think this is the original Route 66. Sometimes it joins with the highway, but sometimes they just have left it where it was, and this is it. some more I got here to Jean next stop Vegas it is 5 a.m. and I am ready to go almost to Vegas getting through Vegas my goal is to get at least into Grand Junction, Colorado today, at least. If not, all the way to Denver. It's very possible I can get to Denver, isn't it? About 90 minutes away from St. George, Utah. It's beautiful out here. thing does not go uphill very well, so I end up in the truck lane. So I'm in Beaver, Utah. I love beaver. What? So I just Googled it. It's 250 miles. So I've done 250 miles already today. I'm gonna catch a little nap and see how much progress I can make. Hopefully I don't sleep more than a couple hours. Okay, now I feel better. Getting on the I-70. Looks like we're going to do a little bit of climbing. Just got up that climb 
coming up from Breckenridge before you drop down into Denver. I didn't think I was gonna make it. I, I, I don't know if it's, so, the altitude is so high, the car just couldn't breathe right. I thought the problem was happening again. Does not like the altitude. It has altitude attitude. Good morning, it's Thursday. I had to get off again. I slept a little, but I just, it wasn't enough. So I, it's um, 6.30. Definitely got another hour, solid hour and a half. I feel much better than I did before. <clears throat> I'm very close to my friend Paul's house, who goes by Felix. I need to desperately shower, and then I'll take it from there. In basically the past 36 hours, or we'll say, I don't know, 40 hours, I will have gone a thousand miles. From Costa Mesa to Denver is uh, over a thousand miles. That's a lot to do in this amount of time. I've got to gotta pace myself a little better. Sitting in a Denver traffic jam, and it's only seven in the morning. So over a thousand miles in less than two days. It was time to see my friend Paul and take a shower. Oh man, much better after a shower. I don't know where he disappeared to. I'm gonna guess he's uh, huh? there he is. <laughs> my savior. Yeah. Dude, thanks so much, man. That shower was one of the, I, it's just- I'm one, surprised you were only in it for such a short time. Oh well, yeah, that's uh, here we are. Oh, whew. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna charge some stuff and rest a little, I think. This is gonna be my first ride in a Tesla. So we're gonna go up the street for some breakfast. That we are. If that was only electric. <laughs> Have you uh, had a bowel movement in the past hour? I have not. Oh, well. Okay. That might be a problem. It's all right. I I, I have uh, experienced the thrust of a of an electric motor before, but not this Tesla. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's like a jet. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's like 75 and yeah, that's just a few seconds. That's some torque, man. <laughs> that is some torque. Wow. And the thing is, for two grand, I can get a software upgrade that'll make it even faster. But I don't really you're, need you don't that. Need that. I don't need it. No, there's no need for anything faster unless you're trying to beat supercars off the line. Yeah, I, I need I need one of these. There's, no, I definitely need one of these. <laughs> I almost hit that magpie. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, the magpie was like, wait, what is this? What is this fast moving raven coming towards me? This is Cherry Creek Reservoir. Okay. Is it uh, frequently. You get to swim in it? So, oh, wow. Now, in the dead of winter, is, this, is there snow all over the ground here? Yeah. Six months. Dude. Six? Yeah. I'm tired of the snow. I, by May is like the, typically, or April is like the busiest or the snowiest month. Typically. Tune in next time when we see all the cool 3D printouts and costumes. And will the van make it on time to see my friends?